This is the next frontier of space travel. Here at Virgin Galactic Spaceport, deep in the New Mexico desert, three regular folks are training for the ride of their lives. I kind of feel like I was born in this life for this. On Thursday, they'll blast to the edge of space on board the Unity. I was once a child with a dream, looking up to the stars. Now, I'm an adult in a spaceship. The same ship that rocketed Virgin Galactic founder Sir Richard Branson and his crew to space in 2021, 53 miles above the Earth, at speeds of more than 2,300 miles an hour. All right. But this next space trip will be Virgin Galactic's first with civilian passenger astronauts only. People like Keisha Shahoff and her 18-year-old daughter, Anna. Natives of Antigua, they'll be the first mother and daughter duo in history to go to space and the first astronauts ever from the Caribbean. For these astronomy buffs, it's been a dream since childhood. I'm hoping to give myself that confidence to try new things. What are you looking forward to the most? Just looking back and seeing our beautiful planet and then looking across to see my daughter's face. The third passenger, 80-year-old John Goodwin, a former Olympian from England and a lifelong adventurer who's also battling Parkinson's disease. Just shows you this attitude of space for all is a wonderful attitude. These passengers undergo three days of rigorous training to prepare for the 90-minute flight, including three minutes of total weightlessness. It's almost that moment where until you actually come in and they're counting down, you're all of a sudden like, oh, we're really going to do this thing. In about 12 hours, Kelly Latimer will take the helm of Unity as it detaches from its mothership. It feels like we're at the, the turning point of a new age of space travel. And to get a little taste of this new kind of astronaut life. When the astronauts pull up from the front, it almost looks like we're in this secret bunker in the middle of the desert. And this is already looking otherworldly. <laughs> I, I see the greeting here. Wow. Hello, Gotti. Welcome to Spaceport America. Virgin Galactic CEO showed us a little bit of what their astronauts experience here on Earth before they blast off. The only people who go from this point forward are the astronauts. So. You want to take a sneak peek? Yes. Sneak peek. Let's go. Oh, wow. Goodbye, Earth. <laughs> then it was time to climb into their simulator. You want to go and fly it? I would love yeah. to fly okay. it. To find out what to expect, I took a spin in their cockpit simulator with Chief Pilot Dave McKay. I'm going to uh, pitch it up into the vertical. Wow. We're climbing. And there is planet Earth above us now. Wow! Even in this simulator, Earth just seems like a miracle. Yeah, it is. It's a very, very beautiful thing. All this part of British billionaire Sir Richard Branson's quest to make space travel accessible to everyone. More than 800 people on his wait list for a seat with current ticket prices at $450,000. Though Keisha and Anna scored their spots for free by winning a lottery, getting the news from Sir Richard Branson himself. Uh, you're going to space. <laughs> Hopefully, this will inspire other people as well. Take your dreams back out, conquer your fears, and go get them. <laughs> Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.